this person. No. You want to go? <laughs> wow. You're right. Ha <laughs> 
Naturally. Yo. Okay. These shopping malls are so fun to walk around. Yeah, everyone's enjoying themselves, so you feel happy too. And way more styles than you can find in Japan. Chichan, what's that you're looking at? can't help myself with little things like these. Look, it's a chicken in a bathtub. How cute is that? I'm um, sure, but what do you even use it for? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a lighter. Oh, that duck is hula dancing. Why do I get the feeling your room's filled with this stuff? Kasuga. Uh-huh. Yep. Yes. Hey, call me crazy, but something about Ichiban's been, uh, hotter lately? Hotter my ass. You're probably just feeling the weather. Hawaii is a lot warmer than Japan. Ugh, I didn't mean it like that. I'm talking about passion here. You know, a fiery spirit. Ah, you think so? Well, maybe this new environment brought something out in me. All right. If anyone's got any problems, don't hesitate to tell your pal Ichiban. I'll rip each of those problems a brand new asshole! Okay, passion's fine and all, but you might want to simmer down. If you go burning out of control there, we might just collapse from heat stroke. Oh, but isn't that part of his charm? <laughs> I saw something interesting on TV the other day. They say the average person only lasts for 23 hours in their lifetime. Yeah? That little, huh? Yeah, well, I'm sure it varies from person to person or how it's calculated, but still. I was shocked. I'd have thought we laugh way more than that. It shouldn't be more like 23 years? Uh, that's way too much. Right, I'd be laughing myself to death. <laughs> you know, maybe they need to revise that theory for Ichiban specifically. Well, I'm sure we'd all live a little longer if we laughed as much as this guy. You know, I was thinking, studying might actually be cool. The hell are you talking about? Hey, you eat something funny? No, no, no. It's just, as a kid, I used to hate it. Getting forced to study day in and day out. But coming here and seeing all these cultures come together has been a real eye-opener. And it made me think learning more about stuff might not be such a bad idea. Listen to that. Looks like this trip's really rubbing off on you, huh? You know... I've been learning my fair share of things, too, since I got here. Like, um, what's the best way to ask a lady out for dinner? You call that studying? You know, Ichiban, you've changed. Huh? I have? Yeah. It's like you've got a bit more style. I guess Kasuga's finally at my level, huh? Adachi-san, you haven't changed one bit. Well, thing is, pretty much everyone here's got style, so it's on me to keep up. Besides, Learning how to stay attractive in your 50s is a never-ending battle. <laughs> well said. See you at the top, comrade. 
I'm really curious what level you think you are. Yo, Jungi! You're looking as suave as ever, drinking here all by your lonesome? I hear that quite often. But I was just thinking that it was getting a little too quiet. Oh, yeah? Uh, so you don't mind some company? That's exactly what I'm getting at. I've been thinking, and honestly, I'm real glad you're here, man. You've been a huge help, and I seriously appreciate it. I didn't even realize that the Komi Jewel network spread as far as Hawaii. It would be more accurate to say that we asked our comrades here in Hawaii for help. Many of them scattered across the globe when the Jigon Mafia was expelled from Kamurocho. Dang. So you basically got contacts from all over the world? Right. And there just so happened to be some in Hawaii with access to quality information on the locale. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to find out what Palikana was up to in such a short time. But let's not talk about the inner workings of the organization. Oh, oops. <laughs> Went too far there, didn't I? There's not much I'd keep secret from you now. However, you may have already noticed that I've been keeping my distance from everyone, yourself included. Yeah, I have, actually. You were just being careful, right? Because we were living life as civvies? Sounds rather pretentious, doesn't it? But you guessed right. We figured being around outcasts like us would spell trouble for you. I know you did what you thought was best, but right now, I'm just a drifter. Guess we can get real chummy again, yeah? <laughs> I suppose my hard work was all for naught then. Yep, seems so. Never know what'll happen nowadays. This may come off a bit rude to you, Kasuga-san, but now, because of the way things turned out, I can finally talk with you. And part of me is elated about that. After all, Ijinsho has been a bit of a bore as of late. The town's far too peaceful. Oh, really now? Sunny has also gotten livelier ever since Kiryu-san came to Ijincho. She's out on the front lines herself now. Though, that's not something that merits praise. Oh, uh, why is that? As the leader of both Komijuul and the Liomang, she should not be out in the open. Oh, not every day you hear Jungi Han himself talk about Sunny like that. We're quite a ways away from Ijincho. It's unlikely for Sunhe to overhear us talking. Furthermore, with the Hawaiian skies as vast as they are, I feel a bit freer here. I will always remain loyal to Sunhe, of course. However, I hope I could get a pass every so often. I'm with you there. If you just want to kick back and relax, then Hawaii's the perfect place for that. Let's just do what we want. I didn't exactly come here to kick back, though. But I must admit, being able to fight at your side once again has been most exciting, Kasuka-san. Yeah, <laughs> right on. I said that I was keeping my distance from you all, but in truth, I'd been keeping an eye on you. I know that you were employed at Hello Work and that you were helping former Yakuza land new jobs. I had no clue about that. Thanks, man. When idachi san started up his investigation firm, I wanted to lend him a helping hand as well. But in the end, I agreed with Sunny that it was best we do not intervene. Yeah, but if idachi san had access to Komi Jewel's network, oh, that would have helped him out a ton. Well, the fact of the matter is that you could get things done without us. 
All of you are very capable individuals. <laughs> I guess you were watching over us for a lot longer than I thought. Oh? Sounds as if you're implying that I was some sort of stalker. Collecting information within Ijin shows how Gomuchu puts food on the table. You were merely one part of that. All right, all right. Let's just leave it at that. But since it did make me smile, how about another drink? Ah, that'd be welcome. It's been a while since we last drank to something, Kasuga-san. Sure has. Cheers, Cheers. man. Phew. That was one hell of a trip. I must say, even if they're cultists, it's not exactly uplifting doing battle with people who look like ordinary citizens. I want every one of them gutted and left to rot in the sand! Ah! How about these guys? Do you feel alright about taking them on? I believe this is a fight I'll savor. Same here. Let's make this fun! Bro, no weapon! Now you're going down! I'm starting to feel it. Feeling 
that. Let's get it done. Ah, hurry up and go. Eyes on you. Break yourself. learner I'll take it I could take on anything Nosy bunch of chumps. You think you can move in on us? Think again. You're outnumbered. Better start saying your prayers. No turning back now, is there? Tch, like that was ever part of the plan. <laughs> I see you haven't changed. Same Kasuga, different day. Wow, aren't you sweet? Now then, how about we let loose? Yes, let's. I'll bury you! How exciting. Watch me. Don't get sure, here. I'll play with you. 
Let's go. Right. Don't get Come on. Get alive. Well, I'm waiting. Power. Time to clear the way. Stronger. Excellent. Who knew I had it in me? Damn it, there's no end to them! Indeed. They have more numbers than expected. All right, then let's hunker down for now. Hey! That place looks clear. Follow me. Thank you. 
Another harmless scrape. Oh, we got away, sure, but this place isn't all that much better. Plus, we're still on Barracuda turf. Let's not let up. I'll take you down! Let's do it! Well... Now You're ready, go. Go. Let's go! Take this! It ends here! Oh. Please, count on me.
Should I open it? Another harmless scrape. In it for the long haul.
Oh, shithead. I'll sue you. The battle is on. Watch me. Take this.
I'm gonna school you. I'll save you. Well. You wanna go? Ah, hurry up, let's go. We don't rush. What bro? Scared.
Sure, I'll play. Let's go. Take your enemy. Do your work. Take this.
Another ten. Okay. There's our target. Drop. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. That's how it's done. I think I'm getting stronger. Nice! Guess I'm a fast learner. Think I'm getting better at this. Excellent. Hey! I'm even stronger now. Should I open it? Sweet! Okay. Another harmless scrape. Where to now? Take care of the 
waves down that way. We might be near the docks. You're right. Still, there's no telling what's waiting up ahead. Best be ready for anything. Should I open it? Got it! Let's go, little lady. You got a ticket for Nelly Island. One way. Lonnie! Ah, you got some shiny brass ones coming this far. I'll give you that much. Sorry, but you're gonna have to turn your ass around and head back. If you don't, who knows what might happen to the girl. Are we supposed to believe you'd kill her when she's due on the boat? You're under orders to bring Lonnie to Nelly Island, alive and well. Achan pulled that same crap on us, unfortunately for you. Am I wrong? Bryce is the only one making decisions, isn't he? You are nothing but a pawn to him. What a bunch of fools. When you think back on this, remember, it was your own damn fault. Lonnie! Shit! Good going! That was beautiful! This is why children need to learn discipline. What hope do they have? But all the adults think they're heroes! You know something? In Hawaii every year, sharks only attack three, four people at most. I think we can do better than that. Let's set an all-time record. All you heroes, you're nothing but goddamn shark food! I'll put you out of this. Let's do it. Well, you want to die? Don't worry about it. Power. Time to clear the way. 
Learner. Excellent. It's okay to come out now. Uh, the bad guys are uh, taking a nap. Mr. Kosuga? I know it was scary. Are you feeling all right? Are you hurt? Mm -mm. That's good. Akane san's been so worried about you. Want to come back now? Yeah. Um. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> no trouble at all. Look who's here! Lonnie! Hakane! I'm so glad you're safe! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Hakane! Forgive me, Lonnie. I can't imagine what you've been through. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Mr. Kosaka rescued me! Ichiban. Just keeping my word. <laughs> well done. You saved the day, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I made you a promise. Oh, hey! Lani-chan wants to say hi, I bet. Feel like talking to her? No. Not yet, at least. Lonnie still isn't out of the woods, sorry to say. I won't breathe easy until then. You're right. Malikana is still infesting the whole town. Hawaii is not safe for us. Not with them around. Lonnie could get taken again. I see. Kasuga. Arakani-san and Lonnie ready to come to Japan. For the both of them, Japan will be much more secure. Yeah, no doubt about it. Problem is... We're not sure we can use the airports anymore. The Daidoji faction safe house was bugged by Aichan, so they must know all our plans. That private jet of theirs is too vulnerable. In fact, I bet Bryce is drooling over the chance to sabotage it. That could be. But Lani needs to get out of there somehow, before they close in. Time's not on our side. Okay, I'll find a way, I promise. Thanks. I think we got most of that. Hawaiian vacation's over. But the question is how we leave. Ichiban's right. Planes are no-go. What about ships, then? Can we hop a cruise to Japan? Any method of travel with other passengers or crew would be a risk. Maybe the Fujinomiya could charter us another private jet or something. Not an option. It's what they call an impasse. Not your concern. What, are you kicking us out? You're so cold to me, Tomizawa-kun. Would it thaw your heart if I said I could get you to Japan? Uh, really? Does this strike you as the appropriate time to mock us? Don't me mug me, son. You still think I can't be trusted? Fine. Good luck to you all. Stop. I want to hear your plan. Come on, Ichiban. Tomi, I get why this is hard for you. But Yamai's helped us a lot already. Can we please just hear him out? I guess so. Okay, then. How do you plan to get us back to Japan, Yamai? Simple. I got a boat of my own. I'll give you a ride. Your boat? Yeah. Pretty little tugboat. We took it as collateral for a loan once. Never had much cause to use it before. Which means old Bryce don't know about it. That is somewhat promising. Hawaii is 6,000 kilometers from Japan, though. A tugboat can't make that trip. But it can get you off the mainland. After that, you fly home courtesy of Japan's Coast Guard. It's already arranged. The Coast Guard? Oh, wait a sec. What's already arranged? This all seems way too easy. I don't have to explain myself. It's an offer, and you can take it or leave it. This is some kind of trick that's really fucked up. Hmm. What do you say, Kasuga? It sounds perfect. Doubt I know you'd say that. You're a credulous man. What am I gonna do? We haven't got anything better. Kiryu-san said it already. Time's not our friend. Besides... Besides what? 
Like it or not, you earned my trust. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty alike. Huh? You and me, we're both willing to carry the load for someone, right? You half-wit. If I thought we were alike, I'd eat a bullet. All right, okay, point made. But our answer's still yes. We good? Hmm. We leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're all ready to go. Thanks. So, everybody in? Seriously? What's the point of asking now? For real? I've got to get packed. Who knows how long I'll be away? The complaints aside, we're together on this, yeah? Yamai still creeps me out, but Ichiban knows I'll follow. Oh yeah, we've been through so much by now. What's one more bad idea? Exactly. As I said, you have the most reliable allies, no? Oh yeah! Hey. Okay. What's that? This is random, but do you think any of the shops around here sell chicken breast? I usually prep some after working out. Hey, how often does bodybuilding cross your mind anyway? Ah, scratch that. I bet seeing that chicken reminded you. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Decibel. Really? I've never had any issues with it. Oh, uh, then can I toss an equation your way? Please. How about 1464 plus 4839 plus 8697? <laughs> Piece of cake. Exactly 150. Oh, impressive! Of course, I can tell if you got it right. Ah, uh, why do I even bother? We're really opening up. Man, that smells crazy good. Makes me kind of hungry. That place has some killer spicy soup. Makes you sweat like a pig, but so worth it. That sounds tempting. But I'll have to refrain. Huh? Can't handle spicy food? I can, but I have a cold sore. Not sure why I get them so often. Damn. How much we can do about that then? Most of the shops around here go hard with the spices. Uh, you maybe want some rice porridge or something? I, um. Uh... Oh, it seems I've miraculously healed. Liar. All right.
Why don't you take a load off? Apologies for the wait. Price will know something's up by now. Let's get going. Boss, be careful out there. We'll be praying for your safe return. Keep your goddamn voices down, and don't die before I'm back. Boss, good luck! <sighs> Boss! Ichiban! I wish you well! <gasps> Tomi? Are you serious? Why aren't you in the boat? Because! This is my home. What am I doing going to Japan? Wait, isn't your father Japanese? You never wanted to see the homeland? I think about it sometimes, maybe, but it's still a foreign country. Don't think about that right now, okay? It's dangerous. We need you with us. about things, Tommy. Oh, okay, okay. If you guys really insist, I've got no choice. <laughs> it's obvious you just wanted to make us beg, you know. <laughs> Admit it. The nervous homebody act is pretty cute. I'll stuff you in a suitcase next time. Whew, we're pretty far out here. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully we can reach the Japan Coast Guard unseen. I'd hold that thought. Cavalry's coming. <gasps> Dwight! Stubborn bastard. <laughs> Hit the brakes! Stay inside. You might. Look after them. Better make it quick. We shouldn't linger. These are feeding grounds. Feeding grounds? My advice? Stay clear of the water. I don't follow, but okay. Let's go! You weren't planning on leaving, were you? Not even a goodbye, Kasuga? <laughs> Far as I'm concerned, you and I already said our goodbyes, and then some. Dwight, Dick, where do you get off showing up here? Need I remind you, I've still got you a little glamour shot. <laughs> Tommy's hour. <laughs> that was it, huh? You folks don't understand loose ends. A real man never leaves things hanging. 
I should have stuck that machete into your heart. Oh, Hawaii might have thanked you. Ever since I came here, I've taken everything by force and never left nothing half done. Real impressive. Sounds like we need to teach you how to tell when it's time to quit. <laughs> you couldn't teach me shit on your best day. <laughs> Besides, take a look at all the men I still got. Shark? Don't tell me. The feeding grounds? Look around. More are coming. No. No way. <laughs> Interesting turn of events, I'd say. Guess you fucks are gonna beat Chum twice over. Barracuda and Shark feed both. Go? Give it a rest, dude. Keep an eye on those sharks. If they get a hold, that'll be it. Oh, shit! This damn thing jumped aboard. Watch it, Tommy. Don't get too close. Open one! 
gift for you. Feeling good.
Watch me. Let's go! Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Leader, it's crazy. Gotta hold it together. 
You got it. Here's what true friends are made Look at me go! I'll take it. Hey! I'm even stronger now. Ow! <laughs> Show's over, pal. Now what? Gonna beg Bryce for forgiveness? <laughs> Funny how easily you say his name. That man has no forgiveness in him. Not for me, or for you. I get that Polycana's big in Hawaii and everything. Still, though, you talk about him like he really is some kind of prophet. And you haven't got a clue. To you, Bryce must seem like some kind of small-time con man, leeching off true believers. So, that sounds about right. Polycana has more power than you could ever imagine. The Sage, he's more monster than he is a man. What? <laughs> You'll see for yourself before it's all over. Like they say, believe and you shall be saved. Too late for me. I've let him down too often. <laughs> All of Hawaii will burn before long! <laughs> I hear the slopes of Switzerland are beautiful this time of the year! <laughs> what a jerk. Throws his own people to the sharks. Quiet. Keep watching. Am I? Sharks have a peculiar way of looking at the world, you know. Most just hunt by scent. 
But if they happen to catch something casting a bright light at sea... All that flashy jewelry of his sure did shine real pretty at night. He goddamn draped himself with dinner bells. There, the man who would be king ends his sorry life as shark shit. People come swarming to paradise trying to suck it dry. But no matter how tough they are, there's still nothing to an island's natural guardians. How's that for a moral? Well now, those natural guardians gave you a pass this time. Maybe they appreciate the help. So, you gonna hang on to that picture of his? Yeah, not for long. Let the dead rest in peace. You pissed, ain't. We actually made it. This is Japanese soil, right? Yep. Official air base of the Japan Coast Guard. We're really home. Ah. So this is Japan. It's pretty dreary, to be honest. Are you serious? We're past the airport, at least. It's very curious. Yamai procuring this route so conveniently. You got a point. Uh, hey. <gasps> huh? Wait a second. Hi there, Adachi san. And you, Ichiban Kasuga. Been a while. I see. This must be luck. Date-san? Hako-chan! The hell are you doing here? Hmm. Yamai didn't fill you both in? Hey, Yamai. Let's get this over with, Inspector. Yutaki Yamai, I presume. I to put a face to the name. I'm with Division One, Makoto Date. Yeah, that's me. So you're Date-san, huh? Mm-hmm. Didn't believe my ears when I got your call. Yutaka Yamai, you confessed to the murder of Shuji Tabata? Yep. I'm the one who offed Tabata. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Can we slow down? Somebody want to explain what's happening? This isn't exactly information for the public. I suppose you all hardly qualify as that. Yamai was once Tojo clan serving in the Tabata family. You're aware of that? Yeah. He killed his patriarch and fled the country, right? You already know that much. This will be quick. Following that, Yamai spent nearly the next three decades overseas, until just recently calling to give himself up after all this time. In fact, he asked for me by name. You what? Always heard you were a decent enough guy for a detective. Spare me, would you? Murder or not, 30 years is an eternity. The file was collecting dust. When the call first came in, I almost brushed it off as a prank and hung up. Then, he started describing details on this case most cops aren't even old enough to remember. So I knew, it really must be am I after all this time. He gave us one condition for surrender, that the police assist in discreetly bringing a small party into the country alongside him. But we had no reason to agree. America has a long-standing extradition treaty with us. Bringing in Yamai through the proper channels would be simple. Of course, when I told him we refused his condition, he insisted it was non-negotiable. <sighs> At that point, I considered forgetting the call entirely. But maybe I'm a fool for a last chance on a cold case. I have an acquaintance of the Coast Guard I was able to work something out with. <sighs> Haven't had to bow my head so much in a long time. 
Uh, seriously? You really turned yourself in on a murder charge to get us all into Japan safely? Tell me, Zawaku. Don't give me them fucking eyes. I'm just an old criminal, tired of hiding. Yeah, maybe so, but still, I just can't believe that... Imagine my surprise when he told me who the party was. <sighs> well, that pretty much covers it. <sighs> Yamai, I'm placing you under arrest. Come along. Hmm? Detective, all these years and you never learned not to trust killers? Huh? Oh! Yamai! Sir, are you okay? Get after your mind, damn it! Whoa, hold on! Tomi? I can get him to come back. Just give me a little time, please. Excuse me? No, he's a fugitive. But believe me, that man does not run away from responsibility. I should know better than anyone being his goddamn errand boy. There has to be something going on. <sighs> Stop it! Yamai can deal with this himself! We're so close to getting home! Indeed. Our priority here is Akane-san and Lani's protection, not his. Date-san, let us get him back! He brought us all this way! I'm not going to leave him on his own! Ichiban! Chitana, Chungi, you're right. But after this, if we don't calm the situation down ourselves, they'll start a brand new manhunt. I owe Yamai too much for that. I'm sorry. I can't abandon him. Ah, uh, uh, Ichiban. Screw this! Move aside! Wait. Date-san? Here you filled me in on all the details. This girl, Lani, he's been risking his life to bring her to safety. <sighs> Is Yamai really more important to you than coming through for him? They're both important. You can't make me choose just one. I don't need reminding. He entrusted me with Akane-san and Lani. No one else. We'll split into two groups. Let me handle Yamai. He isn't brought back soon. My superiors may consider you his accomplices. Understand? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Those eyes. They're the kind that look for trouble, just the same as his. Adachi-san, I barely know Kasuga. And the other one, even less. You're the person I'm betting on. Am I making a mistake here? Nope. Akko-chan, one thing I can guarantee you, you're a good bet. Adachi-san. You've always been too trusting. You're one to talk. Hey, Kasuga. Sir. You might could have run off to a lot of places, but I'd check with Yui Tabata myself. That name? Yamai was in love with her, right? That's right. If Yamai regrets anything he had to leave behind, I imagine that it's her. Thank you so much! You. Is there a toilet around here? Stomach's been acting up all morning. The toilet, sir? Ugh. Bubbling like a cauldron down there. This'll take an hour or two, I'll bet. But, wait, Dante-san! Mako-chan just gave us a two-hour time limit. You better move fast. Uh, uh Dr. san Thank you for having our back. <laughs> I gotta come through sometimes, too, you know. Jungi. Can Akane-san and Lani stay with you? May I expect your swift return? But where are we gonna look? If Yamai's after Yui Tabata, then he's headed to Kamurocho as the crow flies. Whatever's left of the Tabata family, will be hanging around there. Got it! Let's hurry!
go. Okay. Archie's on. Yeah. Yo! Mm-hmm. Pardonnez-moi. So. Okay.
We're in full swing. up. Sorry. Uh-huh. up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> 
been a long time, Matriarch. Who's there? Yamai! Yo. Took you a while. Yui Tabata. That's her? Yamai, what did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here, you obviously did your research, no? Revenge? On an old lady in the hospital? Even for you, that's some selfish shit. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. You're right. I've got no excuses. Aw, oh, come on. Look me in my face. You gonna let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa-kun. Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. That's too old to be called early onset. But still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. <sighs> 30 years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees, order champagne towers every night. We would bleed and kill to make that money. But she tossed it away like paper. And I loved her for it. I shouldn't have. But I just fell further and further. Seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that. Maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us that make us human. Boss was willing to look past all her faults. Except having another man in the picture. And of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always going to find out. That's when she finally noticed this big dumb lummox. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She caught me alone. She whispered to me, if the boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. But you did it anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like that? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her, and I would kill him to save her from his rage. And she'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Picture perfect frame job. Huh. Have to hand it to her. Best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb, but she and that captain were living happy and openly. Okay. You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. That's really how it happened. You recall whether or not you believe me. If it all went down like you said, why were you just staring at her when we came? If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I 
thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? Now, there's nothing romantic left to this. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time's over. I can imagine we've got somewhere to be. I'm afraid that's true. We've been here too long, listening to all this. <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. Wow. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? I'm very cold. Feels good. Thank you so much. Anything for you. You all right? Yeah. 